What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to transfer your screenshots and recordings from your PlayStation 5 to your computer or smartphone. So to actually move all the files from our PS5, we first need to access them here on the console, and there are a few different ways we can do that. The first way is to start from the home menu here, then go over to the game library, then go over to installed, and then head into the media gallery here. In the media gallery, we can see all of our captures and screenshots. We can sort them by our favorites. We can see which ones were recorded when we earned a trophy, and we can sort them by the game they were taken in. Now, another way to access the media gallery is to just press the create button, then go all the way over to the left here where the thumbnail is, and then go down to the option go to media gallery. And this will open up the same screen right here where we can view all of our files and footage. So I'm gonna transfer over a few clips to my Windows 10 PC. So these two up here, I think I'm gonna transfer along with the first screenshot I took on the PlayStation 5. So to get started with our transfer process, we need to first open up the file we want to move over. In here, we'll have some options at the bottom of the screen. The option we care about for this video is all the way over here to the right, and then the first option will be copy to USB drive. So now is a good time to actually plug in our USB drive. So we can use either of the front two ports on the PlayStation 5 console. So if you have a USB drive that uses a USB-C cable or a USB-C port, you can use that as well as the USB-A port on top there. So I have a USB drive that has a two-way connector, so I can plug it into either port, and I would recommend getting something like this if you want to edit your footage on your smartphone. I'll leave a link down below to a few USB drives that I would recommend if you want to view or edit your footage on your phone. So once your drive is plugged in, you can select the option copy over to USB drive. And before I do that, I want to mention something that is very important to keep in mind before you even start recording footage on your PlayStation 5, and that is to select the right file type. Be sure to select the MP4 file type here in the settings menu. I have a video down below which explains how you can record and take screenshots on the PlayStation 5 where I go into more detail about why MP4 is so important, but basically MP4 is a lot more compatible with devices than the WebM format is. If you're just going to view and upload your footage from the PlayStation 5, WebM is just fine. In fact, you can record in higher quality using the WebM format. But if you're going to be using, editing, or viewing this footage on any other device besides your PlayStation 5, be sure to select the MP4 format. All right, so back to the media gallery here. Now we can select the option, copy to USB drive. It's going to ask us to confirm. And once it is complete, it'll tell us what the file name is on our USB drive where the screenshot is located. So that was pretty easy for the screenshot and it's basically the same process for a piece of footage except it might take longer depending on how high quality the footage is and how long it is. So same process, go over to the three dots, select copy to USB drive, it's gonna ask us to confirm. And once it is done, it will again specify the file location on the USB drive. And then that's about all we can do here on the PlayStation 5. Now you'll notice that once I have my USB drive plugged in, there's an option here in the media gallery that allows us to view files on the USB drive. So I actually have a few different folders on my drive where I have uh, pictures and files saved. So if you want to uh, view your files on a big screen, you do have that option here, although it is a little bit more complicated. Uh, you do have the option to view files on the PlayStation 5. Of course, if you want to edit footage using the Share Factory application, you can also move pieces of video and audio and images and stuff like that over to the USB drive, and you can use it in your Share Factory videos if you so choose. So I also have a video linked to the Share Factory down below. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of transferring all the files over to a USB drive and then transferring it over to a PC or smartphone, if you just want to edit on your PlayStation 5, the Share Factory is a great option. So I'll leave that video linked down below. Now, unfortunately, there is no elegant way to uh, eject the USB drive from your PlayStation 5. If you use a Windows 10 computer, you'll know that you're always supposed to eject the drive before you unplug it. But PlayStation 5 does not care about that because uh, they do not give you an option to eject the USB drive. So just plug that puppy right out and from there you can view the files on pretty much any device Especially if you have a USB drive like I do now if you're using Android this process is going to be a lot easier I personally have an Android phone, so I'll be showing that uh, it is possible to edit and view files on iPhones to some extent But it is not as easy as on an Android phone So here in my pixel 3 I can just go to the file application and in here I can select the ps5 folder I can select either by screenshot or by video. I can just select a file and to open it and I can view it right here on my smartphone. On PC it's a very similar process just plug the 
drive into one of the USB ports on your PC, then open up the USB drive, then once again, sort by file, go to PS5, in here either select screenshot or video recording, and then select the game that the screenshot or video was taken in. So from here, we can either view the file here on our PC, or if we want, we can drag it over to our desktop so it is on our PC so we can edit the footage or upload it to YouTube or other platforms. And then once we are done, we can exit out of the USB drive window and we can eject it from our PC. So that about does it for this process. If you have any questions about how to use a USB drive with your PS5, your PC, your smartphone, be sure to leave those questions in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. But uh, other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.